guys uh, hello and welcome guys today uh, in this video we will be talking about installing Kali Linux uh, in virtual machine so first of all you have to download Kali ISO image source Kali ISO and then you go to the first link from here you have to download installer image not virtual image because we will have all control about the, over the installer images and just click on download so here it will take a uh, little data appears and little time and the next thing you need to download is oracle virtual box just simply search oracle virtual box and from here you can download the virtual box uh, you can click on download and windows host you can just click on save i have already downloaded it so i am not downloading it right now after the download is completed uh, go to downloads and let's install the virtual box click on shortly start and installation click on next 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 and click on s so let it install it So here the installation has been finished. Now we have to create a separate partition or a separate space where we want to install our Kali Linux. So let me go to this PC and I have this uh, local disk D separated uh, and empty for uh, installation. And if you do not have any empty space, you can also allocate space from here. From you can take some space from local disk C and uh, make a space another uh, partition yeah. now once you have a separate partition for it you can now open the virtual box just open it and click on new and give the name anyone anything you want i am giving it linux and then click on next i have 8 gb ram so i am giving it 4 gb so create a virtual hard disk now okay uh, virtual disk image next So here it is asking for a uh, space. So we will give the space in the we have created a partition in local disk D. Just click on open and save. So I will give it 23 GB space. So it will perform smoothly. So here uh, after clicking on next we will see this option. Now we have to click on settings. And click on system. Here you have been given 4 GB of memory. Click on processor. I have two cores of processor, so I am giving just one core of processor. If you have three or four or more processors, you can give more or half to perform it smoothly. So how to check processor? Click on tax manager and go to performance and go to CPU. And from here you can see cores. I have two cores. So I'm just keeping one, and then acceleration. Everything is uh, let everything to be by default, uh, and now uh, we have to click on start. Now here we have to insert the disk drive that we downloaded. Now click on add. We have downloaded it here. So click on select it and click on choose. Uh, click on choose and then click on start. So our installation will start shortly. Now click on graphical install. So here it is asking us to choose the language click on continue and then click on continue again click on continue so it will load the necessary components and you have to be careful uh, of every step that i will slow because while uh, creating a partition you may accidentally uh, erase all the other existing partitions so that uh, the data leaks are possible 
so you have to very be very careful and cautious so after this now here it is asking for the name that we want to give to the system i will let it to be kali and i will give it So I will give it subnet result. Click on next. Uh, I will. He's asking for the name of for the full user. So I will give it subscribe. Subscribe. And you have to uh, remember the password that you give here. So make sure you note down it somewhere. And I am from Houston. So I am clicking Houston. So here uh, it is asking for partition disk here you can select use entire disk and uh, it is showing the disk that 25 gb that i have allocated now click on continue so due to this reason i suggest you to create a separate partition because if you create a partition within the disk then uh, number one the data risk will be put possible and some data may also be lost so it is always better to use a separate partition now click on continue and click on continue again here, here we will see that the following partitions are going to be formatted so i uh, for safety i already have uh, had an empty partition so no matter if it is get formatted so as now this will take some time about uh, 5 10 minutes or 20 minutes depending upon your computers or laptops uh, ability so let us wait for some time so my previous step was completed uh, for about 2 to 3 minutes now we have to uh, let the current by default settings and click on continue now this will take about 5 to 10 minutes minimum so you have to wait and i will continue the video after uh, the installation is about to finish so here it is asking for install improved bootloader if it shows the pop up to install group bootloader like this you have to click on yes and then continue uh, and then click this device and so, continue just the final toss up is remaining that will be completed in one or two minutes now our installation has finished and you have to click on continue this will reboot our system now it is rebooting our system and here it is finally loading now click on enter switch So here it is asking for the username. So I guess our username was subscribe and password was and finally our latest Kali has been opened. So to get out of the full code, full board, full screen board, you have to click on right control plus F. So right control plus yeah okay so here is the latest car linux version and we can access various tools from here like this so thank you for watching this video